So in this video, I'm going to be going over a question uh, surrounding depreciation, um, salvage value, and how you can sort of tackle questions. So in this video, I'm going to be talking about or going over a question that covers salvage value, uh, depreciation, and present value of tax shields. Uh, so this is one of the questions from my textbook. I'll quickly go over it. So today's December 31st. Uh, Mike Mulligan Excavation has um, a Caterpillar 345DL hydraulic excavator. It's like the name of the thing is not really relevant. But the thing is it was purchased last year for $297,000. The depreciation rate is 30%. And I've sort of just done a little bit of pre-work. Just put down all the major basic information here. And I'll go over what all of this means in a second. So the tax rate 35% and you assume that at the end of the current year, uh, this machinery will be sold for $218,000. Uh, what we really have to find is the net salvage value at the end of the current year. They also give us some financial statement data, but we'll see if we really need to use that in a second. So just quickly going over some of the more basic formulas. So the net salvage value is basically uh, the salvage value plus the present value of the tax shields. So just a quick review, salvage is basically the value you sort of sell for. So in this case, our salvage value would actually be uh, $218,000 because that's what you sell your equipment for. Uh, just a quick, another note is for the present value of tax shields, the number is supposed to be positive if the salvage value, the value you sell for, is greater than the undepreciated co uh, capital cost at the time when you're selling. On the other hand, it's negative if you sell it for less than the UCC at the time that you're selling. So, moving a bit down here, I basically just entered in some of the more basic information. Um, and I'll get to how this number was calculated, the UCC, but all of this was given to us um, in the question. So, I just input it here. So, to solve this question, we basically need to find this value. And first, we need to find the salvage value. Salvage value is already given to us, which is $218,000. But now we need to find the present value of tax shields. But before we can do that, we actually need the UCC at time n, which is at the end of the current year. So to find the UCC, or the undepreciated capital cost, we need to create a depreciation table. So for year one, we know that this machine was purchased last year for $297,000, so that's right here. Um, and we depreciated it last year um, about, about half the rate, so quickly from here, uh, it's 30% uh, on the $297,000 and using the half year rule, we multiplied the first year by 0 0.5. Uh, that gets us 252,000 at the end of the first year, move that out to the second year. Uh, the depreciation rate again, 30%, move that out. So at the end of this year, the end of the second year when we're about to sell it, the value in our books with the UCC is $176,715. And I basically just put that down here. All we need to do now is find the present value of the tax shields. And I won't bother going over the formula. It's quite simple. And um, I'm sure you guys can dig it up yourself. But basically, the calculation here is uh, just quickly going over. So you multiply the depreciation rate times the tax rate and multiply it by sort of the salvage value. So that's um, the UCC at the ending. Subtract the selling price. And in this case, you can actually see that, that because of the way this formula is working, this whole number is going to be negative because... The E21 cell, which is the 176, is actually smaller than the $218,000. Uh, so you know we're going to be getting a ne negative number because the salvage value is less than the undepreciated capital cost. So we get that, plug in the other two numbers, which are the cost of capital and um, the depreciation rate again, and we'll get a negative 11408 so all we need to do is make the final calculation. So the selling price, the price we're going to get for this device now is $218,000. Uh, and you add, or well, technically it's subtract now because you're adding a negative number of 11,000, which leaves us with a net salvage value of 206,592. So that's sort of the way to approach this question. I'll quickly review once again. So you fi to find the net salvage value, you need the salvage value, which we're, get which we're given as $218,000. We also need the present value of tax shields. So we're basically given all the numbers we need, except one, which is the undepreciated capital cost. To find that undepreciated capital cost, we made this small chart here, which I explained how to do in another video. So you find the undepreciated capital cost, uh, create this quick schedule to get the undepreciated or the UCC at the end of year two when you're selling it, feed that into the formula for the present value of tax shields, add it to the salvage value, and you'll end up with the net salvage value. 